next topic is movement types so the topics that we're going to cover today they are control functions of the movement type customizing a new movement type and its naming convention that's all so we'll start with the business example you want to familiarize yourself with the customizing behind the movement types okay so you want to see what what are settings that are being done and uh, uh, maybe you need to uh, customize a new movement type so you need to understand how to customize what are the factors for customizing and all those stuff so that will learn in today's class so we'll start with first what is movement type so earlier um, we have uh, we have been using so many movement types before so i'm going to show you that for example if i go to my go so whether you're doing a goods shift whether you're doing a goods issue whether you're doing a transfer posting everything is controlled via movement type okay so here system pro 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 proposing you 411 movement type but depending on whether doing the goods shift issue or whatever system will automatically propose you the default uh, movement type okay so these are the so many movement types we have here and uh, some are pretty standard and straightforward for example if i want to um, do a goods shift so that will be your 101 movement type as default so you can see 101 okay so today we'll see what are the factors and the customizing behind the movement type okay so some theory first for movement types what is movement type the movement type is a three digit key for identifying a goods movement the movement type has important control functions in inventory management. For example, it plays a central role in the following operations. For example, updating the quantity field. So depending on the, some movement types can be updating the quantity, some may not. Updating the stock and consumption account. So some may be updating the stock, but some may not. And same for the consumption account and determine the screen structure of the document entry. That means depending on what movement types you are using, system will be populating the different fields. For example, for some of the movement types, system will be asking you enter the mandatory vendor. Okay, for some of the movement types, system will be asking you enter the reason of the movement. Okay, the, these are all things we have seen in the previous classes. So as we have seen, depending on what mo movement type you use, the screen may be different, the fields may be different, the mandatory fields may also be different. So this is what we're going to see today. So customizing of the movement types. So that's the menu path you can use to go to the uh, SPRO menu. So here I am. So you go to SPRO material management and then you got um, um, inventory management and here you can see movement type so here you can see copy change movement type so if I open that select the movement type here and say okay and here you can enter from what movement type to what movement type you want to see if you just want to look at one movement type so just enter one if you want to see a range of movement type you can enter a range and say okay all right so again with the movement type uh, there are a lot and lot and lot of fields in the customizing okay uh, you may find it complicated customizing and in fact it is complicated customizing because within the movement type customizing not only we're doing the customizing for mm side inventory side but also it does involve the customizing towards other module like quality management module and also the warehouse management module in sap 
okay so there's a lot of customizing a lot of fields here but i'll be going through all the important fields uh, within this customizing and if you want to know about other fields as well you can just you know put the cursor on any field and just press f1 and see the uh, description of that field so here you can see for example um, here you can see a control reason for example this is control reason is what um, for some movement types it is mandatory to enter the control reason like reason of the movement so here you can pick if you want to make that field mandatory okay if this is plus that means this is a mandatory field or required field if this is minor that means it's a hidden field suppressed field and if it is a dot that means this is an optional field so this in this case it is a hidden field okay then other things you can see is uh, let me go to the display mode first so that i make sure i'm not changing anything so here for example you can see create storage location automatic for this moment okay so if i press f1 here it will tell you what it is so automatic creation of the storage location allowed or not for example indicates that automatic creation of storage location data in the material master record at the time of the first goods received is allowed that means if you created a material master but you didn't create a storage location okay and later on you have done the goods shift for that material okay so do you want the system to automatically create the um, storage location in material master okay which you forget or maybe not done deliberately okay so if you want to allow that then you need to check this box that means for every material where there is no storage location created once you have done the good shift for a particular storage location system will be extending that material master automatically to that storage location okay now these are the default settings standard setting we don't need to change it we just need to understand it All right. for example automatic purchase order okay so i at one of one of the class earlier i told you about how we can customize the automatic purchase order when they are created automatically when there is a goods shipped without any purchase order so in that case again um, uh, we can um, allow it here or not okay whether it automatic allowed or not okay now here there's some other customizing you can go through the f1 field here if you want but there's a lot of more customizing that i need to go through here so i'll go through here one by one so if i double click on the short text okay let me go to the chain mode again if i double click on the short text all right so here you can see um like a um, description in uh, short text in different languages okay so for example in this language that h I don't know which is Japanese or, or Chinese. So that's the description in that field. Okay, so you can have a different description in every field. Okay, so this is I think TH stands for Thailand. That's their language. You can also have English here. You can have German here. All right, so you can see you have different languages and different uh, description in that language. That means SAP system can. Uh, that's Arabic here. Here stands for Arabic. So SAP system can be used in different countries. Same system can be used. But depending on the location and the language of those people or the default language of those people system will be showing you this description over there for those people okay so same system chinese people will see chinese description probably uh, um, german people will see german description things like that so if i click on position if i say a language is en en is english so in english it is called good shift okay when you use that with movement indicator b okay what is b that means goods movement for a purchase order and the other combination is a consumption is a what is a a stands for asset okay in that case description will be saying i am good shift for asset normally it will be saying i'm good shift gr good shift and if it's saying is e it's saying i'm good shift for sales order so depending on where you're using what you're using the description will be different then the second one here is allow transaction if i double click on allow transaction so that means this moment type can be used with these transaction okay so cl c11 as i said before co transaction are the sap pp transaction if you scroll down you will see your own my uh, mm transaction like me 23 there's me 23 and probably my go 
Okay, so all these transactions. So 